A few weeks of the Sammy King saga was about as exciting as it could get, but with the Western Hockey League coming back to Victoria in the fall, Mike Walker has a look back at the Sammy King's dramatic seven-year reign in the capital city. It was a playoff run that came straight out of a Hollywood script. The Victoria Salmon Kings, knowing there wouldn't be a next season, trying to win this city's first professional championship in 85 years. And while the magical run ended in tragedy at the hand of an old foe, you have to look back seven years to truly appreciate this classic drama. It all began with a cast of characters in a Broadway arena. The Victoria Salmon Kings inaugural season kicked off in the fall of 2004. And after a grueling 14-game road trip to open the year, the Kings finally arrived on home ice. If we only knew what was just around the corner. It's hard to believe that hundreds of penalty minutes and dozens of games and suspensions later, things could get even worse. How do you feel about it? No, not good. Eight different goalies and 53 skaters hit the ice in year one alone. A 20-game losing streak, one of the longest in professional hockey history, may have laid the groundwork for the club's on and off ice struggles in the years to come. But for die-hard fans, the thrill of finally snapping that skid meant the Salmon Kings had found a home. With a move to the sparkling new Savon Foods Memorial Center the next year, there was hope for better things at the barn on Blanchard. But two more losing seasons and two more coaches come and gone, things looked as bleak as ever. But the first step forward for the franchise came in 2006, when the club announced an affiliation with the Vancouver Canucks and gained the instant credibility that came with it. Then Victoria turned to an old friend behind the bench. And it is my dream job. I, could, I can't think of anything else I'd rather be doing. And with Mark Morrison came victories and a franchise first, a spot in the Kelly Cup playoffs in 2006-2007. Despite a loss to their Alaskan arch rivals in the opening round, the progress was a positive sign for Victoria hockey fans, and the following season, they were rewarded. A season finale win over those same aces gave Victoria the West Division title in 2007-2008, and a dramatic first-round playoff victory over the Bakersfield Condors on the back of brother sensations Ash and Wes Goldie took this team to a new level. And that Goldie name would become a fixture at Save On Foods Memorial Center over the next three years, as Wes established himself as one of the greatest players in ECHL history. But despite three consecutive seasons of playoff berths, it started to become clear that the team needed something more to have a legitimate shot at the cup. So a squad built on speed and skill was constructed for the 2009-2010 campaign, and the results were volatile to say the least. From a one and nine start to 15 straight victories, it was a team with championship potential that ended with a first round playoff exit. This season, the strategy was turned on its head. With Goldie gone, size, strength, and toughness would be the key to the title. Unfortunately, that strategy translated into a lack of discipline and a lack of production. The team stumbled out of the gate and never really looked like a group that was playing together. That said, the Kings squeaked into the playoffs with a record below 500, and then took this city on a run. With rumors circulating about the Western Hockey League, speculation that would eventually become official, smack dab in the middle of the Cali Cup playoffs, the Salmon Kings adopted a do-or-die attitude with their franchise on the line. So with a stunning first round upset of the Bakersfield Condors and a shocking semi-final sweep for the Utah Grizzlies, all of a sudden the Kings found themselves in the Western Conference Finals for the first time ever, set for a storybook duel against those Alaska Aces. But four games later, the miracle run came to a halt. The Aces swept the Salmon Kings and placed their arch rivals in the history books for good. And while the new WHL franchise is poised to pay in their own tail here in the capital, one thing is for sure at the end of this chapter in Victoria hockey history. The Salmon Kings found a home in this community, somehow turning a nightmare into a fairy tale. And it's a story that won't soon be forgotten.